Wow. Love New York. Oh, man. Well, thank you all for including me today, and thank you all for being here. I feel called to support this union that has included me as a member since 1974, which is just shocking and horrifying to me. I was a uh, five-year-old working actor living with my single mother in subsidized housing right down the block in Hell's Kitchen. I feel called to support actors like my father, who may not be household names, but who deserve to live and die with dignity all the same. My father passed away in November of last year after a long battle with mental illness and a short battle with cancer. He was a working actor and union member for decades. He did over 200 episodes of Ryan's Hope, worked on and off Broadway, and was a background actor in a few movies you recognize and some you wouldn't. The last time he worked as an actor was in 1987. He became fully disabled by mental illness after that. Since his death, it's become clear to me how integral union membership was to his dignity and survival. Living with mental illness harmed his ability to accept help, even medical care. A lot of people gave up on him, but his unions never did. He lived off of his SAG and equity pensions. SAG helped him connect with the Entertainment Community Fund when he was finally ready for interventions, and with hospice when he became terminal. Because of SAG, because of real people who work to help our members, my father was able to die with an amount of dignity that he would not have otherwise had. He lived as long as he did because of SAG. In a time of disappearing federal funding for artists, in a time where Hollywood is looking more and more like Wall Street every passing day, an increasingly privatized healthcare system that leaves too many behind, we are all here together to secure fair wages and ensure the survival of our health care, our pensions, and our retirement. Our old earning structures are obsolete. As TV episode counts shrink, so too do the employer contributions into the SAG After Health Care Plan, the SAG Pension Plan, and the After Retirement Fund. Employer contribution rules haven't changed in 40 years. That's too long, especially with all the changes in our current media landscape. And we can lose track of the human story when we talk about this strike. And I might not seem representative of a fight that many are rightly calling existential for the average working actor, but it's our ability to earn fair wages at every level that allows us to collectively fund a safety net that any one of us might depend on one day. Labor never quits. We never give up the fight, no matter how tough the odds, no matter how long it takes. Thanks for having me.